High Court in Bungoma has temporarily suspended the implementation of the new 16% VAT on fuel. Justice Stephen Rich issued the orders after youth in the county sued Treasury CS Henry Rotich for effecting the new fuel levy that has now caused a lot of pain in the country. In Bungoma, we have Zakius Mwasame with one of the petitioners. Let's speak to him, Zakius. Uh, thank you, Ken. As you rightly mentioned, we are coming to you live from the Bungoma Law Courts here, just outside the Bungoma High Court, where uh, this afternoon the court ruled that uh, it suspended the uh, implementation of the 16% VAT on petroleum uh, products. That was met as success uh, through a youth group from Kisumu called uh, Sumawe Youth Group. It did that through the, uh, an advocate called Ken Amondi of Amondi and Company Advocates. And just to give light on this, we are joined with the advocate, that the petitioner, who is going to tell us exactly what are the issues and how does he feel about this uh, petition that is actually pitching Kenyans. Wakili, we, are, we understand that you have just received this uh, uh, order. Yes, Maybe yes. what does it entail? Can you explain this to Kenyans? Uh, basically, first and foremost, the High Court has uh, suspended or yes, the High Court has granted temporary conservatory orders quashing the decision by the Cabinet Secretary, Treasury, and by the Energy Regulatory Commission levying a 16% VAT on petroleum products from the 1st of September 2018. Uh, in this uh, petition, of course, our argument, the argument of the petitioners, and which the court has agreed with, was that uh, one, mm. the cabinet secretary acted contra constitutional values and principles. Our argument was that the cabinet secretary is a state officer. By virtue of being a state officer, he is bound by Article 10 of the Constitution. He is bound to ensure that even as he makes decisions, he must inculcate principles of social justice, he must inculcate principles of equality, he must ensure that he takes into consideration the economic interest of Kenyans. Okay, maybe Wakili will, uh, because in the rest of time, we will yes. have to have that. Of course, Ken will have that. We are going to have Wakili expound this, and we'll be having that in our subsequent bulletin, that at 7 p.m. and 9 p.m., we'll have the chance to uh, explain to Kenyans, and maybe how does that feel, and what is the implication of this order uh, to the effect of the 16% VAT that is already in place. Back to you, Ken.